Hi everyone, it's Rosetta Wolf, Violet Wolf Witch, here on YouTube and Instagram. And on this channel, we talk about ways to evolve to our highest spiritual selves together using magic, which comes in many forms. Today, we are talking about Neville Goddard and the Law of Assumption, and one of his techniques that is still widely used today that he used with his earlier audiences to prove that the Law of Assumption is real. Now, what's interesting about this technique is that you actually use it every single day. You use it all the time. And that technique is the ladder technique or the knot technique, however you want to describe it. You use it your everyday life without even realizing it. The ladder or the knot technique is something that Lambo Goddard used in his earlier audiences to prove that the law of assumption is in fact real and that you have total control over your waking reality. Everything in your reality, whether you want it or not, you've created it. I know that you can be skeptical of that, that you may have some unsavory things going on in your life. Why would I create that? because the universe speaks in frequencies. It doesn't speak a set language. And if you have read The Secret, which is Law of Attraction by Rhonda Byrne, or if you've watched the movie Adaptation, then you would hear the great Bob Proctor say the same thing. The universe doesn't care what's, what you think is right or wrong, because that varies from person to person, right? So the universe is completely neutral. It's based on what you decide is good or bad that is happening in your 3D reality. Bob Proctor said in The Secret in the film adaptation that the universe doesn't speak any set language. It doesn't matter what language you speak. It doesn't matter whether you want something or don't want it. It's all about frequency. So with the knot technique or the ladder technique, you think about climbing a ladder throughout the day. You give yourself reminders throughout the day, set it as a wallpaper on your phone, you can set it on your mirror with sticky notes or a place that you would look every single day to remind yourself, I will not climb a ladder. I won't do it. I refuse to do it. And in most people's jobs, in most people's everyday life, do they have to climb a ladder? If you don't work in construction or something that would involve climbing a ladder, why would you care about climbing a ladder? Fast food workers, receptionists, you're unlikely to climb a ladder. So you set this is an absolute definite refusal that you will not climb a ladder. But when you drift off to sleep and you're in between waking and sleep, you picture yourself, visualize even throughout the day, but mostly sets when you are closing your analytical mind about climbing a ladder. You picture a ladder, whether it's metal, whether it's wood, hear the sound of you climbing the ladder. Picture over and over again, you climbing up and down this ladder. Pick the number of rungs, the number of steps, you grabbing with your left hand, your right hand, and each foot, what shoes you're wearing, as vividly as possible, you climbing the ladder. While throughout the day you affirm, I refuse to climb a ladder. I will not climb a ladder. And this is a neutral thing to most people. Most people would not give a damn about climbing a ladder. And most of his students, most of his audience, they were to come back if they did climb the ladder. And so significantly fewer people returned having climbed the ladder. But the people who did achieve climbing the ladder came back with the belief that the law of assumption does work. That what you assume to be, whether you want it or don't want it, is going to enter into your reality. And that you have control over your reality, like a video game like a lucid dream. Everything around you comes from your subconscious mind, whether you want it or don't want it. And we use this every single day. You tell your child, don't spill the milk when they're pouring the milk for their cereal. And you worry about them spilling the milk. So you just tell them, don't spill the milk. And that makes them spill the milk. Don't think about finding a $20 bill on the sidewalk right now. Don't think about it. Do not picture finding a $20 bill on the sidewalk, on your way to work, on your way to school, on your way home. Do not picture it. Now, what did you just do? You pictured it, right? If you like horror, if you like reading, there's this book by Clive Barker, which I believe he wrote 
what Hellraiser is adapted from. It's called Mr. Be Gone by Clyde Barker. And as you're reading it, the book is talking to you. It says, don't go any further. Stop reading this book. Burn this book. This book will ruin your life. Why are you still reading? And that makes you want to keep reading the book. It's a really good book, by the way. Um, I don't know. I do not want to get stuck at every red light. God, I hope there's not a freight train that makes me late to work. Those things take forever. I do not want to get stuck by a freight train. And what happens? You get stuck by a freight train. We use the knot technique, the ladder technique, in a different form every single day. The law of assumption does work. I want you to try it. Do not think of a pink elephant. Don't think about it. Do not think of a pink elephant. You thought about it. Now, if you keep thinking about it, what's going to happen in your reality? A pink elephant will show up in some form. A child holding a stuffed animal in the store that passes by you. A bumper sticker of a pink elephant. I want you to try this. You don't have to do the ladder technique, but try something unusual that you would not expect to see. Try the Easter bunny in the middle of July. You're going to see bunnies everywhere all of a sudden. In some form, it's going to show up in your life. So try something that you would not typically care about. And think about that, you know, I don't want to see it. I do not want to see it. Try it at the bank. You know, try something in real life. Um, I don't want my bus to be on time. You know, think about when you're driving someplace where you're not in a rush. You're not in a hurry. You hit every green light. Right? You get there way quicker than Google Maps will tell you that you're going to get there. Right? So we do use the knot technique every single day of our life. It's not that unusual what Neville Goddard spoke of. The law of assumption is real. I just wanted this to be out there for people to acknowledge and realize that they use the knot technique every single day. With clickbait, do not click on this video. What do you do? You click on that video. You give it views. You help it along. We use the knot technique every single day of our life and the law of assumption is real. So try it. I just want you to try it for yourself. Leave a comment down below in a week or so after you've watched this video and tell me how the knot technique worked in your everyday life. I would love to have you here on this channel, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.